Here are 10 times NBA players humiliated their opponents. Number 10, Kevin Durant. Apparently a jazz split is not only for the dance floor. It can also happen on the basketball court with the right motivation from Kevin Durant. Durant almost broke an opponent's legs when he dribbled him and forced him to do a jazz split while finding his balance. Well, by the time he realized he was on the court, Kevin had already gone by and dropped the ball in the net. Number 9. Andrew Wiggins When you are determined to beat your opponents, you see them as mere stumbling blocks you have to find your way around. Andrew Wiggins knew this when he found his way around an opponent to net the ball. The goal was so powerful that it was put on a poster. Andrew Wiggins couldn't resist himself as he also printed the goal in the reaction of his opponents on his daughter's shirt. Number 8. Zion Williamson When you show up at a local gym to chill out, pray that you don't meet someone who would challenge you to a game. Williamson wasn't that lucky, but guess what? He ensured he humiliated his opponent. It all started when a kid approached Williamson, saying his dad was taller. William is 6'6 six six and 284 pounds, and played better defense than he did. At first, Williamson thought it was a joke, but when the kid insisted, he had to accept the challenge and subsequently gave the kid what he deserved. After the game and with the score margin, one thing was clear, Williamson can sometimes be a bully. Number 7. LeBron James If you are not confident about a win, then not trash-talking your opponent may be great advice. The Warriors learned this the hard way when they faced the Lakers. They had started with a lead and ended the first half with a double-digit win. Obviously, this got into their heads, and some of their players started trash-talking the Lakers. Jordan Poole was among the first to begin the trash talk and was even bold enough to trash talk LeBron. Things took a different turn when the Lakers got back to the court. LeBron ensured he closed the score gap and even scored one of the most legendary shots in the NBA to win the game. The Warriors were not just humiliated, they had their bombs blown up in their face. Number 6. Damian Lillard Damian Lillard is not just a great rapper. He is also a great player, so you can expect some of his random conversations to cut across both areas. Well, this isn't a big deal for Damien, but little did he know that one of those conversations would get him to lock horns with Shaq. In a podcast, he was asked if he's got better music than Shaq, and his reply was that he raps better than Shaq. You think you got better music than Shaq? I think I rap better than Shaq. You think so? Okay. Yeah. To be fair, both artists have made a name for themselves with features from some really great artists. But you know Shaq. He was not going to allow Damien to go away with that comparison, so he hopped on a song sending shots to Damien. Replying, Damien first sent a tweet to inform the public of his intended clapback. In his tweet, he said, Ha! Training camp starts tomorrow, but he's definitely getting around out of me. Just wait. With that, Dame dropped the song titled Rain, Rain, Go Away. Said that Max was little, that 250 million crispy. Can't recall you getting that when I was cruising on the 10 speed. Where he came hard on Shaq. The song made headlines and Dane was even crowned NBA Rap King. Number 5. Jalen Brown When someone gets humiliated, it's often those present that get to catch the humiliation. The rest only get the narration of what went down, and like that, the humiliation loses its gravity. But for Jalen, he did not only humiliate Donovan Mitchell, but he also framed a picture of the humiliation for everyone to see. You ask me, that's a below-the-belt punch, but then... It's already done. Grown man has been humiliated in the humiliation frame. Number four, Stephen Curry. It's sad when only a single player gets humiliated, but when it's an entire all-star NBA team, it's worse. Though he was playing against the best in the NBA, Steph wasn't at all intimidated. He earlier had a look at the 10 highest single game scoring performances in the NBA all-star history, where only Anthony Davis crossed the 50 point mark. Steph was determined to beat this record, so he set to work. At the end of the game, Steph didn't just have the most legendary three-pointers. He crossed a 50-point mark, carried his team to a win, and won the MVP award. That's legendary. Number 3. James Harden As a player, one of the things you need is motivation to go get your opponents and show their fans that you are above their trash talk. James Harden understood this and didn't allow Kevin Hart's trash talk to get to him. When the game started, Harden made sure to silence his opponent and Kevin Hart, one of the 76ers' biggest fans. During the post-game interview, Harden told the world that he had to show Kevin up a little bit. Number 2. Jeremy Lin 
When you are facing a team with Kobe Bryant, you need to do more than just show up for the game. You have to bring your A game. For Jeremy Lin, the threat was more than Kobe Bryant. He was on the verge of losing his job and he had to show the world that he was up for the task. The best way to do that, I think, was to neutralize Kobe's threat and make a name for himself. And that was exactly what Lin did. No matter how much Kobe tried, Lin played so well that he finished with more points than Kobe, 38 to 34. Number one, Kawhi Leonard. There are less than a handful of people who would lose their father on NBA championship final night and still go ahead to give one of their best performances. Kawhi's dad was shot dead while working in the family's car wash business the night of his match. Though devastated, Kawhi was determined to still make his father proud since he knew his dad would be looking down upon him from heaven. With this motivation, Kawhi gave a stellar performance from the beginning to the end of the game. No matter who was guarding him during the game, he knocked down shots, hit many three-pointers, and made many defensive stops, thereby humiliating the Warriors, who were the favorite to win and inspiring his team to win the NBA championship. 